let's come back and do this numerical this is a bit okay almost the same concept molar mass but let's see how can we do this so here uh, first of all let's see what I have should i find out i have to calculate the molar mass of the substance yes i have to calculate m2 remember that molecular weight is always denoted by m2 so let us write what is the formula required and what should i find out so what else is given the vapor pressure also is given that means I have to relate or write a formula or use the formula with this the final answer I can get the final answer that is your P naught S minus P S by P naught S which is equal to N2 by N2 plus N1. Further I can write this as Yeah, this I've been we have been writing the same, isn't it? But important thing is different variations in the numerical. Done. Let's come back. What what are given to us in the C? Let's see whether we, P not S is given to us. What is P not S? P not S is nothing but vapor pressure of pure solvent. Let's read the equation. So first of all, let me divide this into solute. First so solvent, I said always solvent, and let us divide this into solute. I very well know W one M one. W2, M2, P0, S, PS. All these I require. Now let's see. For the solvent, W1 is given to me or not. So they give me the vapor pressure of a 5% aqueous solution of non volatile organic substance. They said 5% of aqueous solution. In that concept, really everything is there. So they said there is an orga non volatile organic substance is there itself. Yes, among that, 5% is 5 grams of this. Present in 100%, so 95 grams is your solvent. Done. Then after that, <clears throat> let's see whether they've given anything else. First part is over. Substance of 373 Kelvin is 745 mm mercury. So they have given me the vapor pressure of the solution which is equal to 745 mm of mercury. What should I find out here? I have to find out M2. M1 of the solvent water nothing but 18 gram per mole. Now what is P0 S? P0 S is a vapor pressure of the pure solvent that is nothing but 760 mm of mercury. I have got all the data now substitute. When I have to substitute in the in this particular sum P0 S 760 mm minus P S is 745 mm by p naught s is 760 which is equal to w2 is 5 i have to find out m2 divided by 5 by m2 plus w1 is 95 by 18 again <clears throat> this is 15 isn't it 15 by 760 which is again 5 by m2 by 5 by m2 when i solve this um, I get this particular thing if I solve I get 5.278 then I can rewrite this whole equation like this also isn't it 760 by 15 is equal to the reverse of this 5 by m2 plus 5.278 by 5 by m2 yes let's come back how can I further simplify this this whole thing, I think I can write it like this. I'm writing this part here. 5.2 M2. Yes, yeah. Plus 1 by 5. Just see, it's the same. I've simplified further. We've got this, isn't it? Okay, let me take this one here. I'm trying to take, so this is a bit low. So let's write this here. What did I get? I got 50.67 is equal to 5.2 M2 plus 1 by 5 i have to find m2 simple isn't it now when i further solve this i get an answer of 1.0556 m2 okay plus 1 so m2 is equal to this comes here 50.67 minus 1 divided by 1.0556 which is equal to 47 gram per mole that's it so simple you uh, i think uh, i just wrote what is required i wrote the formula i substituted in the formula then finally i've got the molecular masses 47 gram per mole which is asked